This example will demonstrate how to use interactive sizing to rigorously size an air-cooled heat exchanger. For this example, we're using a flow sheet of a crude distillation unit that we've modeled in Aspen Hysis V84. In this version of Hysis, we can use activated EDR to learn more about the heat exchanger models in our flow sheet. If we click on the model status panel, we can see that we currently have a simple air cooler that we've modeled as the overhead condenser. The column model has its own simple condenser, but we've exported the internal stream of the overhead vapor to duplicate this stream on the main flow sheet. Then we can more accurately model the performance of the air-cooled unit and calculate the outlet stream conditions based on the rigorous model. To size this heat exchanger, we'll use interactive sizing. If you have an earlier version of HISIS, you can access interactive sizing by opening up the unit operation form, going to parameters, and choosing interactive sizing from the drop-down. This will open the EDR sizing console. If you have Aspen HISIS V84, you can click on the Model Status panel, hover over the highlight, and access the Convert button. Then choose Size Interactively from the options provided. This opens up the EDR Sizing Console within the HISIS simulation. You can see that we already have a number of default parameters specified for the fan configuration. We'll elect not to specify any sizes in design at this time. If we look at the Process tab, we can see that our process conditions have automatically been transferred from HISIS. We can also see that we have an allowable pressure drop. For the tube side, this was set in HISIS, and for the air side, EDR has specified a default of 200 PA. So let's reduce this to 100, just to lower the fan power needed for this unit. So now we'll click Size Exchanger, and EDR will run through hundreds of configurations and identify the lowest cost design that meets these process requirements. When sizing is complete, we can view the final design on the Geometry tab. We can see that we have two bays in this unit, two bundles, and two fans per bay. We could refine this design as much as we wanted within the EDR sizing console. For now, we're going to go ahead and accept this design and this will embed the rigorous file into our simulation. So now if we hover over the unit, we can see that the rigorous design is in simulation and we can view it with activated EDR. We can click on the operational warning panel and we see that we have successfully sized this unit without any operation warnings. These warnings will update as we work with the HISIS flow sheet so that if anything arises, such as an excessive pressure, temperature, or vibration problem, it will immediately be flagged on the flow sheet.